Hey there, everybody. Lord Spoda here. Hey, if you're like me, you're a humongous Game of Thrones fan. Um, but do you know everything about it? Now, I'm not going to say I know everything about it, but I know a lot. I have read all five books all the way through three times. And I can tell you that these are the best books I have ever read. Now, I work in a bar and... Uh, Game of Thrones comes up quite a bit, and people are always asking me questions, because I'm kind of the resident Game of Thrones expert. And uh, it amazes me some of the things that people don't understand about the series. First of all, Game of Thrones is not set on Earth. It's set on another planet. That's right. Game of Thrones is on another planet. Now, George R.R. R. Martin is primarily a science fiction writer. So when he started writing, uh, I guess it was only natural when he started writing a big fantasy medieval swords and sorcery novel that he set it on another you know completely different world from earth now if you look at the actual physical world of game of thrones there are two known continents uh there's west uh, westeros uh, and there's essos now westeros is kind of europeanish europeish okay you know you got the wall up top that's kind of like finland you know you go all the way down to the middle where king's landing is it's kind of londonish kind of england and then, of course, you go all the way to the bottom, which is Dorne, and Dorne's kind of like Spain. So when Martin wrote his books, you know, he's kind of basing it on our world a little bit. And, of course, across the sea, you've got the Essos, and this is where Daenerys is. I've had a lot of people say, well, where is da uh, Daenerys? Daenerys is on another continent across the sea, and uh, it's called Essos. And now, Essos is kind of based on uh, Africa and uh, the Middle East. So, of course, the Dothraki tribe is kind of like a Bedouin warriors, you know, back in the day. So it's very much like Egypt and, you know, probably Iran and all those kind of places. Now, you may or may not know this, but season one of Game of Thrones, of course, was based on the first book. And uh, season two was based on the second book, um, A Clash of Kings. Now, because... George Martin takes forever to write his books. They wisely, which I think they should have done in the first place, split the third book up into two seasons. So when you're watching season three and season four, you're seeing um, a storm of swords split up in half. And then I'm just guessing a feast of crows, which is the fourth book, will be split up too. And of course, the biggest one of all is a dance with dragons, the fifth one. Let me tell you something. You think it's great now? It just gets better. This is the best one of them all. Now, I'm going to give you some hints of where some of the characters are going. I'm not going to ruin anything for you. If you really want to know what happens, read the books. But if you want to just wait for the shows, I can tell you that Tyrion is on a grand adventure. And right now, at the end of the fifth book, he's with Daenerys. That's right. He's over on uh, Essos with Daenerys. Um, Arya, who has one of the great adventures you know, in the whole series, she is in Bravos. She is training to be, as far as I can tell, an assassin of some sort. Uh, Sansa is still alive, and she's uh, in the Vale with Littlefinger. Jon Snow is still alive, but he's in mortal danger when the book ends, the fifth book ends. So you don't, it's kind of a cliffhanger. You don't know if he's going to survive or not. Um, who else? Uh, well, I'm not going to tell any, anybody else who lives or dies, because I don't want to ruin it for anybody. But all their journeys to those places are fantastic. Oh, well, wait a minute. Brandon? Brandon's still alive, far north of the Wall. And uh, he's becoming some sort of mystical Gandhi-like guy. Anyway, the book's fantastic. Uh, cannot wait to see it come visually on the screen. And uh, a cool discussion would be, who is going to end up ruling the Seven Kingdoms? That's what I want to know. And we always get into big arguments, not arguments, we always get in big discussions at work and other places about the Game of Thrones. Who is going to win and end up ruling the Seven Kingdoms? Is it going to be one of the remaining Stark children? Is it going to be Daenerys? Is it going to be somebody else? Because at the end of the fifth book, there's another person coming into play. But I won't tell you who that is. Let me know what you think. Lord Spoda, signing off.